Okay, we're going to go over installing Temple OS into VMware Workstation, which is the $250 upgrade from VMware Player, um, which is free. Um, so you do new virtual machine, and uh, then you do uh, typical. You, you enter the the file you download from my website templeoscd.iso into the uh, ISO image and you do other and other 64 bit and um, you do um, I'm going to call it production this is production instead of in-house 8 gig is plenty and customized hardware 256 is not enough memory by def by default, you want uh, 512 is the minimum. I'm putting in uh, 5 gig, and uh, I'm I'm going to um, do uh, eight cores. I think I think Player only does four cores, and I'm going to uh, get rid of network just so that you know it's God. Um, I'm going to get rid of network, and uh, um. We can. I can get rid of the sound card. Um, we want to petition VMware so that they restore support for PC speaker. As it stands, there's uh, after version eight, PC speaker doesn't work, and we want to petition them. So um, we want to um, hit close. Now it's um, it's booting the ISO as though it's a CD-ROM. And uh, install on the hard drive, yes. Are you installing inside VMware QEMU? Yes. Is it? Uh, it's normal for this to freeze. So now it's it's par partitioning into a C drive and a D drive. It's copying 18 meg onto the C. For, that's that's the size of the uh, uh, distribution. And 18 meg onto the D, exact mirror image. And it's putting a bootloader into the C boot sector and a bootloader into the D boot sector. And it's putting a master bootloader um, onto the uh, master boot sector. So this, there's, there's a C boot sector, a D boot sector, and a master boot sector. Do we want to reboot now? Yes. And this is my boot. This is my master bootloader. It's a replacement for it's it's a replacement for Grub. Anyway, so um, take two or no. That's all there is to it. We're completely installed. Now we might want to customize some stuff. Local time zone. I don't remember if it's plus eight hours or minus eight hours. And uh, get rid of this message. So we can um, you can just delete this. And I'm going to say woo who. Now, if we reboot, it says woo who. So um, now um, I want to cover how you uh, um, how you mirror image copy C colon slash to D colon slash. That's copying all 18 meg. Now here's what happened. We just overwrote the kernel, um, and um, the boot sector has to be um, reset with the new address of the kernel. So um, we go. That happens when you recompile the kernel. It automatically sets it. So this make OS um, takes a uh, source drive and a destination drive. These are drives. So that's. Drives are entered as uh, um, C characters. So I'm going to. Did the D drive is what we're doing. Home drive is D. That's what's going to be the home drive when it's uh, booted. And when we're mounting, we uh, mount C is the lowest um, letter of the of the sequence C D. If you had another one, it would be E. And we want ATA hard disk probe. So um, now we can enter the port number. ATA is the hard disk. Atapi is the CD-ROM. 
VMware plays musical chairs, and every once in a while there's a combination that won't work, so you might have, but you can set them yourself in VMware. Anyway, so, um, v, I don't know, there, there's no excuse for them to be playing musical chairs with these. Otherwise, I could just have them hard-coded here, and you wouldn't have to do this. Um, zero. No more drives. We could put the CD-ROM drive in. But I don't feel like it. So when we boot, it's not going to have a CD-ROM. Anyway, disk cache size, let's use default options. Let's use default. Okay, so now if we reboot, everything should be A-OK -okay on the D drive. Uh-oh, um, we just had a, uh, a glitch. That happens every once in a while. Um, reboot. I think it's related to multi-core cores not being shut down and start up. Anyway... So um, we just rebooted, and you'll see it has the updated version of this drive. It has the woohoo, so the copy um, worked correctly because we we have that new message. Um, so uh, uh, just to show you what's well, anyway, that's that's enough.